Today, I wanted to tell you about the art of war from a real war goddess who has conquered the world before. I'm sure that you have heard of Sun Tzu's art of war, but who is Sun Tzu anyways? Someone that didn't even conquer anything out of China, like an inverted deceiver who ultimately knows nothing about true war, who couldn't even kill someone themselves if they needed to. Like, what do you know truly about war? Number one, the real art of war is that willpower is everything. With the willpower, you can survive, you can manifest, you can live. You have willpower and uh, those of us that are able to fight off the trials and tribulations, the famine, the pestilence, the war that is coming, those of us who fight and survive with will are the ones that are ultimately going to experience the golden age. So willpower is everything. With willpower you can do anything. The second rule of the art of war is that water wins wars. As you can see behind me, I have, well, you can't see all of them, but I have quite a bit of water here, and I am working on digging a hole to bury this water. So when times of war come, when I have an army here at my base camp, we will have water here. I plan to bury some food in the future for this as well. Uh, but water is the key. If you have water, you can continue to go on. Obviously, ideally, you would have food, but with water, it will be way better. Dry fasting, after a few days of dry fasting, especially if you're not used to it, you're definitely not going to feel like getting up and fighting a battle. So, dry fasting is not the way to go. So yes, I am here and working on digging a big hole to bury some supplies for water and uh, yeah, having the right supplies, having water, food, shelter is something that I keep encouraging people to get because the powers that be plan to basically kill us off through diseases, through pestilence, through wars, not just the man-made wars, well, they're not man-made, I'm sorry, the, uh, their manipulated wars to, uh, kill off humans, but the real war, which is real humans against the non-human, anti-human powers that are ruling over us, farming humanity, and ultimately creating this hell on earth for us. So, preparing to survive what they have planned for us is important. Please make sure that you have supplies, especially water. If you're not already, uh, you know, playing around with fasting and limiting your food intake, I definitely encourage you to do so because famine is coming over the past few years. They have been depleting the uh, crop sources and buying up farmland and farms and putting themselves in a position where they control absolutely everything and can create a famine situation so that they can take more control and basically force humans into a situation where many will be forced to well, they'll feel like they're in a situation where they're forced to take the mark of the beast to be able to buy and sell for their families. You don't want to be in that situation. You want to be as prepared as possible. And for those people that end up coming to Mount Shasta, if they try to kick us off of Bunny Flats, I have this base camp here where I am burying some supplies. I also have another base camp and there are other uh, options for us to gather if they try to force us off the mountain 
So we are definitely prepared here with a backup plan and my backup plan, this huge forest all, like is awesome that we have it going into the wilderness is something that I started to look forward to in my Torah days and this is a great place for it here at the meeting place of heaven and earth, especially when I have buried supplies. So number two, water wins wars. The third and final rule of war is a two-part rule. The first one is that your soul actually came here for war. If you didn't want to be here, you would not have consented to coming here. You could have stayed up in the upper realms where there is peace. So you consented to coming here for a reason, to make the world a better place. And we do that through war. And war isn't always just bloodshed, just running in and blindly killing everyone. The second part of rule number three is that war, to be a real war master, you go in and you turn your enemies into your friends, your allies. You get them on your side any real humans watching this no matter what you know disagreements we might have ultimately the enemy that is crushing us both down is not human and together we are the ones who have to stand against that enemy so we have to put our differences aside and not just with other humans but also the non-human entities ultimately they all have free will and i know that they have done a lot of evil to humans humans have also done a lot of evil to humans and other species and uh, you no matter how far down this path of evil that you have gone I truly think that you, if you want to in your soul to change, to become better, that you can. And I think that everyone deserves the opportunity to try to be better. We shouldn't just go in and start the golden age with bloodshed of all of the uh, satanic flesh puppets. Even though that obviously is an option, it's not really a golden age to start there with a bloodbath, even though so that is what they are, you know, trying for, trying to get humans to fight each other, to get us to kill each other, and we haven't seen fully the war timelines that they have planned for us, whether it's a war with China and, you know, what other countries side with who for this coming world war and yeah, we have to wait and see what they have planned for you and me. But in the meantime, we need to be preparing for this so that we can survive. Will, with willpower to live, you can survive through anything that they throw at you. But you have to remember that your soul came here for this battle. There will try to be, you know, so many, not only just temptations of a better life, an easier life if you walk away from war, but, you know, threats against your life and crushing you down in ways that you can't imagine. Start trying to starve us out, hitting us with, you know, frequency uh, weapons and other things that they are going to try to do to try to get us to just submit and go along with their plans, give up the fight and go along with their new world order. But I assure you that if you end up doing that, if you give up the fight, your soul is going to be so disappointed, so embarrassed that you were a coward. Especially if you are listening to my words right now and you're hearing me telling you to prepare, telling you that your soul came here for a reason, like you're really going to be disappointed with yourself so please don't put yourself in a timeline where you end up miserable and ultimately taking yourself out of the game because you did not prepare I know it's not easy but especially if you start fasting now you're going to start saving money on food you can buy food for for the future put it in a box use the extra money that you're saving while you're purifying it's like 
uh, I almost said something that was non-vegan because it's just a phrase that most people say. I don't want to say that. Um, just so you know, it was killing two birds with one stone. I don't really know a proper vegan uh, counter phrase for that that says the same thing. So you know what I mean, but please don't kill birds. Um, <laughs> Uh, getting uh, prepared is something that you need to do to be able to survive. Even if you are coming here to Shasta, if you are coming here, you still need to be prepared. Make sure that you have a tent and food and stuff that you can use to survive. Yes, I am preparing, but you have to be able to be, you know, an asset and not a liability on others. And that is to be fair and nice. Obviously, I'm not going to turn away people if they are liabilities, but that will be on a need-to-know basis with each person. Obviously, uh, my base camp here, I'm going to need uh, people, real humans that are on the same path as me to be able to stand guard and be the leaders every group has leaders and you know even in the wild animal kingdom we find groups having leaders it's not a bad thing as long as those leaders are actually good are pro-human are helping towards the golden age so pro leader yes we're going to need real human males and females to be a part of the on the ground army to fight back against this and to ultimately rebuild the new world that we are going to enter into it's going to be hard work it's going to be a fight but like i said remember that your soul came here knowing that you were going to be put to the challenge put to the test we've been through this before we've stood beside each other in battle before and we can get through it once more. I really look forward to meeting you when you come out to one of my full moon celebrations. June 24th at Bunny Flats will be the first celebration. If something just crazy happens and they try to kick everybody off the mountain, obviously I have this base camp as a secondary location for the celebration, so we will continue on. I look forward to meeting you if you come out to one of those. That is obviously the best time to connect with me. Come and get some of my delicious vegan food and hear some of my custom self-made music. So, if you are coming out, please get a hold of me and, like I said, prepare. These are the rules of the art of war. I hope that you have connected with them and that you take heed of them so that you can survive the coming trials and tribulations that are going to put us to the test. I look forward to connecting with you on Friday night for some Friday night fun, 8 till late. I'll be having a video at 8 and at 10, so make sure that you plan to come and talk with me then. And until then, I hope that you have a wonderful week. May God and the goddess bless you. Calling is coming. Grab your guns. Stack cash funds. Fathers teach your sons. When politicians talk, assume they're lying. And living on your knees. Calling is coming. Grab your guns. Stack cash funds. Teach your sons. When politicians talk, assume they're lying. And living on your knees. Just like this, four, seven rounds for the needs to be.